door on Little West 12th Street in the Meatpacking District as a future street. The Neighborhood Association, the Business Improvement District, worked with AIA, ASLA to come up with this amazing design that really lends itself to the nature of the district. Public space, we've got lawns behind us, lounge area here. It incorporates the uses of the restaurants, um, enhances the retail footprint on the street. Good public space is good for business, and if folks feel comfortable spending time in a space, it's really likely they're going to end up shopping and eating. What we're doing today is to show the city and the community how amazing it is to provide more pedestrian prioritized spaces. And on this side are more trees and vegetation as though we're bringing the High Line in. People lounging on our reclaimed timbers. As you move forward, there's a center space, but there's a musician throughout the day and a live muralist painting art on the wall. Toward the end is all of our food and beverage. Uh, as you notice on the other side of this property, our public spaces with big red umbrellas. Here we got 5,000 square feet of donated sod. We painted the street to connect the sidewalk to the street to show that this was one contiguous space. As soon as we laid the first piece of sod, as soon as we started chalking um, the cobblestones in the sidewalk, you felt the warmth of the block, the character of the block change. It, it brought a more pedestrian scale to the streetscape and people inherently um, found themselves wanting to wander down this block. And these are our barricades. We designed these on wheels so that the centerpiece is movable. We wanted to make sure the district is able to block cars when they need to, but also allow trucks and other cargo to come through. These particular barricades were left over from a nearby construction project. So the inspiration was, you know, DOT rolled out their, their Open Streets program, and we discovered that a lot of them were not working. They were just kind of like dead, disactivated spaces and nobody walked on them. And if you can believe it, there was no pedestrian traffic on the street before this installation went in. What's worth doing is looking at the street next door, which is absolutely the before shot of this street, which has also an open street, open for restaurants, and there is no activity on it. Too many people have the 20th century mindset of the vehicle reigns supreme, which is how New York streets is still um, sort of our, our managed and structured today. So when you flip that on its head and put pedestrians first, people are at first confused by that until they realize how comfortable it can be and how a street can be made for them. And, and sitting down and what that means and, and sort of walking on the grass and how that feels.